The Cousins up to block the shot. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Irving. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Celtics. He gets it. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact? That's something special to watch. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense to Marcus Smart. To Hayward. And that's rebounded by Golden State. Cousins. Deep left corner. Durant can't connect. To Irving. To Hayward. Irving to Hayward. Trying to cash in. He connects off the step back. And that footwork was absolutely off the charts. Just that space, splash. Curry. Man, that was a tough shot. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Though. Curry into the front court. He'll run the offense. Has a look. Down low to Cousins. On the follow. Way to stay with it. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Boston with the basketball. Irving. the defense to Irving nice pass to set things up Jay you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey he's overcome a lot of obstacles chief among them staying healthy and on the floor yeah and he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college but the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage making the game-winning shot in game seven he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. what you like that rip through right into the shot that's smooth have to respect all elements of his game curry to durant for three and kevin durant all in one motion hits it off the catch and shoot and watching all these great shooters on the floor once it almost mesmerizes me it's like you're watching the shot in slow motion. The backspin, it gives off the feel that the ball's going in every time. Celtics have it. To Horford. Count the basket at the rim. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Curry. Here's Curry. With it up top. Leaves just a point. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jumper. Thompson to bring it into the front court. It's a one-point game as we approach halftime. To Thompson. Curry. Keep 
on trying. Shots no good there. Ed, the game is so different. In today's NBA, defenders are longer, quicker, and more athletic than we've ever seen before. So offensively, as a shooter, you either have to be able to create more space off the dribble for your shot or have a much faster release. Ideally, you have both in your arsenal. Just inside the arc, at the buzzer, and buries it. Jay, they'll take that any day. Now a three, at the buzzer. So a tie one as we reach the break in a one-point game. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. Sports Halftime Report. The Celtics are in a tight battle after two quarters. It was the, the Warriors are within striking distance at the half. I love the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impressed me. Game track. Assists. We're seeing unselfish basketball in this matchup, with each team turning good shots into great shots. These squads really know how to let it flow. Player of the half. Kyrie Irving has the defense figured out, and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. Second half, it's about to get started. Ball's controlled by Boston. Hayward to Horford. Hayward. Hayward unable to connect. Cultures have communication. Great cultures have teammates that are willing to push you to limits that maybe you didn't even see that you had. But right now, there's no leader on this team. Everybody's just going their separate ways. Brown with it up top. His guy's now trailing by a point. Screen left, coming, screen left, coming, screen left. Inside, he scores. Underutilized, underutilized, underutilized. Am I getting my point across? Let's see more of that. Curry to Green. Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Green doesn't need to score to be effective. He's a more skilled Dennis Robin of this generation. He's an undersized student of the game who can guard positions one through five, a rarity even in today's style. Now let me tell you what he's gonna do. He's going to disrupt your game plan and probably try to get under your skin. So stay composed and don't go for the bait. Horford with the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. No fading on that shot. Strictly up and down. Fundamentals 101. Curry. Look out. If he's hitting those, could be a long night. And it just seems like the defense has lethargic closeouts. You need to close out with more of a sense of urgency. Run them off the three-point line. Make them take a tough two rather than an easy three. Celtic Chapel. Hayward. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Curry to bring it up. Tie game, third quarter. Durant, pass to Cousin. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. 
Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ball game is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing the pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive, but when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. Not that time. You know, as a shooter, you recognize that was good defense, but that's more on you than it is the defense. Challenge yourself to get the ball back and continue to be aggressive. He still hits the three. Defense, do the math. You force him to take tough twos, you'll probably have a better chance to win this game if you can slow down the pace. To Hayward. To Jalen Brown. Oh, blocked by Green. And it's not just about blocking shots. It's about the physicality of the game. How about when all these down screens, your bigs are bumping these guys off the screen, allowing you to catch up to the play defensively. That's why you're playing so well. And the rebound cleared by Thompson to Durant. The pass set it all up. Curry, obviously the greatest shooter we've ever seen. Yeah, I said it. But he's so good at driving and using his body to shield off the contact. Now the Celtics going to use a timeout as their coach wants to get a word in with his guys here in this third quarter. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. won't go down. Thompson to bring it into the front court. Lead stance at 10. Not done yet. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Irving brings the ball up court. And he hits. If he keeps playing like this, we all may believe that the earth is indeed flat. And that's what you love about Kyrie. He's constantly probing. He's probing on the court by maintaining his dribble, and then also probing off the court. We're saying lines like the earth is flat. The fact that that was on the cover of every magazine, the headline of every social media title, goes to show you that Kyrie is great at hijacking your amygdala both on and off the court creates the space to bury the three on the step back. Today's league just throws that old school stuff out of the window. Why have twos when you can shoot threes, even on fast breaks? Guys spread out towards the three-point line instead of laying the ball easy at the rim. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. You never want to leave anything to chance when you attack the rim. You finish strong every time you head home. Here's Irving into the front court. His guy's down by nine. That is great vision and stuffs it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Spins and scores. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. 